Listen to this important clip about Palantir. Tell you what we're doing commercially. Please. Right now, you're going to see a normal non-engineer sitting at their terminal, tasking satellites, uh, ex exporting a logic inside the security model of the company to, to, to figure out which satellites should be over which part of their agricultural uh, assets and what should happen based on weather conditions. Now, you can just imagine how you could do that with a weapon system. This is exactly what Palantir, Palantir commercial, not Palantir highly classified environment, Palantir with somebody that has been hired five days ago that can't write code, that's very smart, may not speak English, and is just entered the enterprise, is doing that workflow. This is pretty insane to hear from Alex Karp talking about here, people with these non-technical backgrounds regarding various industries and complex industries like engineering, large data analytics, getting into different things such as composition, healthcare, they can make critical decisions by utilizing Palantir's technologies. And with that, you're showing the robustness and how they are getting into the commercial segment. We're gonna be talking about this, of course, giving you guys a daily update on PLTR. If you are a new or returning viewer, hit that like button, subscribe for daily videos, and of course, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm collecting all the data and dispatching it to you. Now, what we have in terms of Palantir price action today, Right now, close at 25.35 in the after hours, up about nearly 1% at about 25.54. What we saw was resistance kind of being met here at that 27.50 and a little bit of resistance here on today at that 26 kind of 30 area. You see a little bit of a pullback here at about the 25. So we see that continued on with one of the biggest AI stocks that we talk about all the time, Nvidia, the same kind of price action a little bit here, a little bit of a pullback that is staying kind of consistent. What we have seen and why we're seeing a little bit of, I wanna say, putting the brakes out of the market is right here, the NASDAQ dips ahead of a key inflationary point. And what everybody is waiting for is the market is bracing for one last big test before the Federal Reserve March 20th policy meeting. Now, the Consumer Price Index, CPI, which is a large inflationary data gauge, that report is tomorrow, Tuesday. And it's the front line right now of the Fed talking about that they want to be more confident that inflation is cooling before easing up on actual borrowing cost. On top of that, you got Bitcoin right here that's actually sitting all-time highs above 72,000 right now and is still staying consistent above 72,000, up over 65% on the year. So where we sit with PLTR and a little bit of hesitation in the market right now as we await that inflationary data, we could have a lot of volatility going into tomorrow's market. With that, you see Palantir right here, volume a little bit less than its three month trading average at 72 million, 60 million on the day. And you see, if we continue to see a small pullback, we could possibly be testing some support areas around the mid 24s right here. If you had a strong pullback here in the 23s, you could be seeing some support. If we see a reversal here, inflationary data looks good, more confident here that the Fed is going to actually be reducing those interest rates, reducing borrowing costs, we could see a resistance here at the 26 and possibly testing here the 2750. So we toggle over here quickly to the options. What we're seeing is a lot of activity at the 27, the 28, and the $30 strike price. Over 12,000 in terms of call volume at the $30 strike price, really outpacing the puts right now. So institutional and retail investors combined are taking a large bet that by end of the week, Palantir is going to have possibly testing higher levels in the 20s and even possibly testing $30, setting New Year to date highs. If we look at PLTR, remember one of the biggest catalysts that we saw last week was their new partnership or new contract basically with the U.S. Army here on the Titan project. And this is a $178 million deal developing in the Tactical Intelligence Target Access node. And this really has sparked a lot of interest from investors. We've seen them really take a dive into the commercial segment, but also this large governmental contract helps bring credibility that pounds here has continued to build upon over its previous few years as it's been heavily tied to these governmental contracts, but also Bringing new advanced targeting systems to soldiers, Palantir is looking to improve the technology across the board, utilizing their AI data analytics software for evolution of these technologies that we are seeing. And what we're seeing is an upgrade target. We saw this and we talked about this in yesterday that Webush, Dan Ives actually upgraded their targets in the actual price 
action. And this is great, especially with Palantir. One of his biggest criticisms is its valuation. However, one of the biggest things that PLTR has coming for it is its rapid commercial adoption. This interesting article here from Molly Fool talking about, can it join the Magnificent Seven and the $1 trillion club? I think it's important not to get too far ahead of ourselves because we're going to be talking about what do these numbers actually mean if it were to become a $1 trillion company. Palantir has been incredibly successful. There is no doubting that. With the rapid commercial adoption right here, you can see that Palantir's commercial revenue hitting $457 million in 2023. This is a tenfold increase from $47 million nearly just five years ago. In 2024, they're expecting to see even a larger increase, about another $200 million at $640 million. So we're seeing revenue in terms of the commercial side of things that is growing at an exponential rate. But however, if Palantir were to actually join the Magnificent Seven, it would have to grow tremendously. And if you're looking at that $1 trillion kind of market cap, you're seeing that across social media right now, it's a little beyond our expectations. The reason I mention that is because Molly Fool here even talks about here that Microsoft and Alphabet, Apple, they all have multi-hundred billion dollar revenues. Palantir right now is just at 2.2 billion. So even if Palantir does a 10X, that's actually only 10% of the sales as the technology giants. However, for those that are looking at a long-term growth perspective at a long-term bullish perspective, position on PLTR, then hey, you could be possibly seeing, if you think Palantir is going to continue to grow, how cheap it is right now compared to some of the other competitors that are in the industry and specifically seeing what AI stocks can do. Just take a look at NVIDIA, one of the biggest blue chip stocks that are out there. So what we see it with PLTR is on the short term right here, a lot of people are going to be saying, who cares if it's between 22 and 26 for the next few weeks? Who cares if we see the small metrics? If people are thinking Palantir is going to keep continuing to grow in the future, it could be over $100, then hey, that's a 4x from here. This is a still a cheap price. But if people are looking to say that, hey, this is an overvalued stock and we're going to see a correction on the short term right here, then maybe it could be overvalued to you. It all really depends on what you're own due diligence and what your own opinion formulates regarding your position regarding PLTR. One of the bullish catalysts that we do talk about in a lot of the videos is its earnings per share revisions. And a lot of analysts, even analyst firms and different types of uh, data analytics softwares regarding these stocks, they adjust the price targets based on earnings per share revisions. In the last 90 days, we've seen 16 in terms of the bullish direction. Earnings per share right now, estimates is sitting at eight cents with earnings about two months away. So lots of exciting things that are ahead for PLTR. And what we can see is with the consumer price index, that's going to be a big gauge for tomorrow's market. If you guys, I get a lot of my information from Seeking Alpha. I'm going to affiliate with them down in the link. Check that link down in the description below if you want to get 20% off the premium membership. But with PLTR, we're going to be keeping you guys updated every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Take care, and I'll catch you guys later.